The Wanderer, translated from Old English by John Duncan Ernst Spaeth. Many a lonely man at last comes to honor, merits God's mercy, though much he endured on wintry seas with woe in his heart, dragging his oar through drenching cold brine, homeless and houseless and hunted by word. These are the words of a wayfaring wanderer. This is his song of the sorrow of life slaughter of foemen, felling of kinsmen, oft in the dark, alone before dawning, all to myself my sorrow I tell. No friend have I here to whom I may open my heart's deep secret, my hidden spring of woe. Well do I know tis the way of the highborn, fast in his heart to fetter his feelings, lock his unhappiness in the hold of his mind. Spirit that sorrows withstandeth not destiny, Heart that complaineth plucketh no help. A haughty hero will hide his suffering, manfully master misery's pang. Thus stricken with sorrow, stripped of my heritage, far from kinsmen and country and friends, grimly I grappled my grief to my bosom, since long time ago my giver of bounty was laid in the earth and left me to roam watery wastes with winter in my heart. Forsaken I sought a shielder and protector. Far and near I found none to greet the wanderer, no master to make him welcome in his wine hall, none to cheer the cheerless, or the friendless to befriend. He who has lost all his loved companions knoweth how bitter a bedfellow is sorrow. Loneliness his lot, not lordly gold, heart-chilling frost, not harvest of plenty, Oft he remembers the mirth of the mead hall, yearns for the days of his youth when his dear Lord filled him with abundance. Faded are those joys. He shall know them no more. No more shall he listen to the voice of his Lord, his leader and counselor. Sometimes sleep and sorrow together gently enfold the joyless wanderer. Bright are his dreams. He embraces his Lord again, kisses his liege, and lays on his knee, head and hands, as in happy days, when he thanked for a boon his bountiful giver. Wakes with a start the wanderer homeless. Naughty beholds, but the heaving surges, seagulls dipping and spreading their wings, scurries of snow and scudding hail. Then his heart is all the heavier. Sore after sweet dreams, sorrow reviveth. Fain would he hold the forms of his kinsmen, Longingly leans to them, lovingly greets them. Slowly their faces swim into distance. No familiar greeting comes from the fleeting companies of kinsmen. Care ever shadows the way of the traveler, whose track is on the waters, whose path is on the billows of the boundless deep. Behold, I know not how I may keep my heart from sinking, heavy with sorrow, when all life's destiny deeply I ponder. Men that are suddenly snatched in their prime, high-souled heroes, so the whole of this earth day by day droopeth and sinketh to decay. How dread is the doom of the last desolation, when all the wealth of the world shall be waste. He that is wise may learn, if he looks abroad o'er this land, where lonely and ruinous wind-swept walls waste are standing. Tottering towers crusted with frost, Crumbling wine halls bare to the sky. Dead is their reverie, dust are the revelers. Some they have fallen on far fields of battle. Some have gone down in ships on the sea. Some were the prey of the prowling gray wolf. Some by their loved ones were laid in the earth. The Lord of the living hath leveled their mansions. Silence the sound of the singing and laughter. Empty and bare are all their habitations wondrous works of the giants of old. He that considers this scene of desolation in this dark life deeply doth ponder, battle and bloodshed, burning and slaughter, it bringeth to mind and mournfully he asks, Where is the warrior? Where is the war horse? Where is the giver of bounty? Where are the boon companions? The dream and the gleam that gladden the hall? Alas, the bright ale cup! Alas, the brave warrior! Alas, the pride of princes! The prime is no more. Sunk under night's shadow, as though it had never been. 
Where lusty warriors thronged, this lone wall towers, Weird with dragon shapes, wondrously carven. Storm of the ash spears hath stricken the heroes, Bloodthirsty weapons, word the supreme. Wintry blasts now buffet these battlements, Dreary snowstorms drift up the earth, The terror of winter when wild and wan, Down from the north with the darkness drives The ruinous scourge of the ruthless hail. All this life is labor and sorrow, Doom of destiny darkens o'er earth. Wealth is fleeting, friends are fleeting, Man is fleeting, maid is fleeting, All this earth's foundations utterly shall pass.